This is a short video showing how to use a signal generator within a PASCO interface or a standalone signal generator to generate a sine wave within PASCO Capstone. On the left hand side in the charcoal gray bar, you can see that we have an icon for the signal generator. This icon will only be visible if you have a signal generator or an interface with a built in signal, signal generator attached to a computer running Capstone. By selecting this, you can see that we have the output from the 850 displayed. The default waveform is for the sine wave. There are uh, multiple other selections available that we'll cover in later videos. For this case, we'll have the sweep type off so that we'll make sure that the parameters for the sine wave will remain constant for the uh, run of the data. For the field for frequency, the frequency can either be set by highlighting the entire number and ty typing in the value that's desired or the particular digits can be selected by using the right and left curly arrows here and then the values can then be adjusted by using the arrows. Below that we have the amplitude. When setting the amplitude for your signal generator please make sure that that is suitable for the circuitry that you're attaching it to. You don't want to provide too much voltage that would damage components. Also to keep your components safe down below we have the current limit here so we can set that um, to as low as 0.55 amps or as high as 1.5 amps. So that's again to keep the equipment that you attach to your signal generator safe. At the very bottom of the screen it allows you to set the start and stop conditions for the signal generator. On the far left hand side if the on button is depressed that means that the signal generator will be on all the time. Likewise if you press the off button it will remain off. The auto button means that the signal, signal generator will turn on only when you're collecting data. And then uh, the button to the far right hand side, the calculator, will cover in further videos. This has been a short video showing how to set up a simple sine wave using Pasco Capstone with an attached signal generator or interface.